Hi, hello, and welcome once again. Thank you again so much for joining me this week. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I am the crafting coach, and I have got like the easiest, most fun 4th of July project in store for us for this week. You've got exactly one week to go out and find yourself a palette so we can turn it into this. It's such a bold, patriotic design that will look cute in any surrounding. And honestly, it took less than two hours and 10 bucks to make. So here is what you're gonna need for this week's project. One palette. Be sure to look for one that has boards that are close together. Red, white, and blue paint. These were $1.99 each at Hobby Lobby. A paintbrush, and for the stars, we'll use a sponge. You'll also want some paper plates to put your paint on, and a scissors to cut up our sponge. I'm not going to sand my palette or anything. I'm just going to apply the paint straight away for a rustic feel. I'm going to start with the blue section for two reasons. One, I can better gauge how far into the palette I want to paint blue, and two, this will have more time to dry while I paint the other colors, so I won't have to wait too long in between to do the stars. Measure out about halfway across and cover the front of the palettes completely about halfway down. Be sure to completely rinse your brush and dry it as best as you can before moving on to the next color. The top color on the stripes of the American flag is red, so we'll use that color first, and then just paint every other palette section. Go nice and slow when you get to an area that touches up against blue, and just try to get your brush as straight as possible. Remember, we're going for a rustic look, so it doesn't need to be perfect. When you're done with the red, rinse and dry your brush and finish the remaining palettes with white. When you're done, grab your sponge and we'll cut a star out. You can draw a star on paper first to make a stencil, or just draw your pattern right on the sponge. Grab a glob of paint on the sponge and smear it on a clean part of your paper plate before your first stamp. This will keep the excess paint off the sponge for a nice, even application. Move from side to side on each palette section, stamping the stars on. I moved in an up-down pattern so that it looks like there's more stars than there actually are. Do your best to get all 50 on there, but don't fret if you don't have enough room. And once the stars are done, you're all done. As an afterthought, I decided to spray on some lacquer that I had left over from the coasters that we made a couple weeks ago. I did this just as a precaution since I give away my completed projects to lucky winners. Remember, if you want to win the project that I create on this show, just click on the link right on this page. I think this project turned out so stinking cute and it looks way more expensive than what it actually cost to make it. Well, I want to thank you once again for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I'll be back next Saturday morning with a brand new project just for you. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. Also be sure to follow the Aberdeen American News online and on Facebook where all of the Crafting Coach videos are made available for you. If you have any tips or suggestions or project ideas, don't hesitate to email me at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. Have a safe and happy 4th of July weekend, and we will see you next week. Bye!